Welcome to another What's Day in a Day as a Vegan on Swimming World. Today is a Saturday. I'm wearing no makeup, so I apologize for my appearance, um, but I do like to give my skin a rest on the weekends, even though I don't wear that much makeup at the best of times. Um, I was at a wedding reception last night, and so I'm pretty tired today. Um, I'm also on call for my job this weekend, so that means that I can't really go too far from the house, which is fine by me, because I'm perfectly happy pottering around the house, getting my chores done that kind of thing, just generally being a bit productive. So um, it's late-ish morning, like 9.30 I think, um, and I haven't eaten yet, I haven't even had a coffee yet, all I've had is water. Um, so today I'm having a bit of a treat breakfast. Um, recently I've discovered the This Is range of um, fake meats, I guess, and um, I've tried the chicken one, um, salt and pepper chicken and it's really really nice and it's one and a half sins for the whole pack based on using the sins calculator to work it out or the sins estimator as it's called now I should say. So I found the um, this is bacon or this isn't bacon sorry <laughs> be worried if it was bacon um, but yeah I found this one in Holland and Barrett so I'm gonna try this this morning in kind of like a BLT except it's spinach instead of lettuce um, and I've just put this through the sins calculator, uh, estimator, sorry. So I'll just show you that now and how I calculated the sins in this packet. Okay, so this packet is 120 grams, and as you saw, um, I worked out for the whole pack, and then I always do a separate calculation for the amount that I'll likely eat, which is half the pack. Um, there's not loads in here by the look of it, but I'll work it out once I've opened it. Um, but yeah, for the whole pack, it's one sin, and for the half the pack, it's half a sin. I always do a separate calculation for half the pack, because sometimes things are rounded down or up for a whole pack, if you see what I mean. So for the amount you're actually going to eat, it's always worth working out the sins for that exact amount because sometimes it can be slightly more or slightly less than you're actually thinking of. So I'm just gonna open this now so that you can see it. She says, brutally hacking at it. I ain't joking. It's open at one end, so you can just do this, she says. Score. Um, and then this is what it looks like inside. I'm quite, it smells really good. It smells really smoky and I love smoky things. So um, it looks like this. I don't know what this like juicy stuff is. It almost looks fatty, but it can't be fat because it's really, really low in fat, this stuff. So anyway, so to go with this, to make my BLT really Slimming World friendly, like I said, I'm gonna potentially use half the pack of this. I think that'll be enough for a sandwich. Um, it might be too much, but we'll see when I get it out in a moment. I'm also going to grill some tomatoes. It doesn't show you anything that side of the pack. Um, I've just nipped out this morning to Sainsbury's and got some stuff because I didn't really have loads in. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have one or two tomatoes in my sandwich. I'm gonna grill them to make them really soft and tasty. I'm sorry, Delta, if you can hear her, is going a bit mad, but it's just because I've been quite quiet and then suddenly when I start talking and crackling things, she suddenly goes mad. So, Delta! There we go, right. Um, once I crackle, she'll go again. She doesn't like crackling. So I also got some spinach. Um, so I'll have a lot of spinach in there. And then also that totally didn't fall on the floor just now. And I forgot to pick up before I started filming. Um, I've also got a small loaf of wholemeal bread. So a 400 gram loaf of wholemeal bread. You can have two slices for your healthy extra B choice. So I'll be having them. So my breakfast, 
based on those ingredients is actually just gonna be half a sin to have like a vegan bacon sandwich. Now I feel like it's gonna feel quite decadent, so I'm quite excited. Um, it's not the kind of breakfast I normally have. I would normally have like a, a cooked breakfast or more usually oats or fruit or yogurt, that kind of thing. So I'm excited to see how this turns out. Hey guys, um, I'm just going up to the garden centre for a coffee with my parents because they rang in the middle of me <laughs> making my breakfast and um, yeah, I haven't had a coffee yet today so I thought why not, I'll just go up and join them. Um, so I'm taking you with me and it works out quite well because my bird feeders are really old and rubbish that came with the house. So I want to have a look at some new ones. So I was planning on going up there anyway today. So that's worked out really nicely. So I will show you um, what I get at the garden centre.
Hey guys, so I'm back from the garden centre and I'm just gonna make some lunch. Um, I'm just gonna have like a vegetable and bean soup thing, I think, because I'm just hungry and I just want some goodness. Um, more than happy to have a big portion. <laughs> so, yep, I will just see what I come up with. seven um started to get hungry um i actually ate all of the remaining soup earlier um i was planning for it to be two portions but it was totally sin free and pretty much all speed food so i didn't feel bad about that um but that was about five and a half hours ago now so i'm starting to get a little bit hungry um i don't have too much in the house because i haven't done a big grocery shop or planned my meals yet um i normally do all that on a sunday because I like Saturday, uh, Fridays and Saturdays to be more spontaneous. So anyway, I'm just getting a few steps in because I haven't really done that many today. And I'm just walking to the shop, so combining everything. Um, I'm fancying something with carbs, so probably pasta. Um, and we'll go from there. So I'll let you know what I buy. Um, I'll probably do a little bit of an extra walk through Jersey just to get some more steps in, so I'll probably show you a bit of that too. Okay, we better say we're going down Dursley High Street at night, and I noticed this earlier, that there's all this bunting up. This is pedestrian. Um, you can hear the cars behind me on the road, but this particular street is pedestrian. I really love this street. There's some good shops, except for that one. That's a butcher, and it stinks. Um, but apart from that, it's pretty good. 
there's some nice little coffee shops and stuff. So, um, Sainsbury's is over there, but I'm just gonna go down the end, do a few more steps. where they do loose fruit and veg and but it's really expensive so yeah um in front of me is the town hall here and it's really cool because it's a raised one so it's um it's actually just columns underneath i think i've put it in a previous video oh look how cool is that like a proper old news agent um but yeah, this is the town hall. So underneath, that's just the road on the other side. I think the car's gonna go. No, they've all gone. Um, I'll just show you. Down these steps. Tonight, but the town hall is actually up above me and that's the steps up to it so it's pretty cool they're trying to raise some money to get a lift put in I was talking to a lady here the other day but I'll just walk outside it to show you guys it's very cool so this is looking back up the street I've just walked down and then that, that there is a town hall they've got some really cool stuff up there actually um, but yeah I really love it I love a raised town hall and then over there is the church where I'll just take you over and we'll look through. Um, it's a pretty cool little bit. Well, there's my car's coming. <laughs> so, in there, the lit up one. <clears throat> Can't wait till the cars go by. So, that place lit up is Belle's Kitchen. Me and Mum go there on a Saturday morning during our walk, so that's where I think I've put a couple of videos before. I don't know why there's loads of cars all of a sudden. Anyway, I'm just going up the steps into the church. It's so gorgeous. So I'm going to take you down a cool little alleyway and hopefully there'll be a bit of light because I don't like it in the dark. Look at these doors. It's so nice. I think it's quite dark. Oh no, there's a light. We're all good. So you can't see because of my phone camera, but over here, this is all quite old graves. It's really nice. Oh good, there's security lights, see? They're really nice. Um, me and mum did try and read the inscriptions on them, but we couldn't really see them because they've worn away over the years. And then through there, there's like some older ones, which is um, really cool. Anyway, I'm taking you down here. This is like a really funky little extra bit down the back of the church. And you get down these steps. And it's just really cool, look at it. So you just go down here. And then there's some water, which I will show you. But I may see people, so I'll have to stop talking. Look how cute it is. See this old arch has been filled in at some point. These are people's houses. How cool. And look, this is all random water. Oh, it's me. Look. In the daytime, this is quite cool. I'm just gonna jump over.
Okay, I'm at Sainsbury's. There's quite a lot of people about. Um, and would you believe it's just started raining? Hopefully it'll finish by the time I come out because I'll get soaked. I haven't got an umbrella or anything. I'm literally wearing a t-shirt and cut off. Not ideal. So I'm just leaving Sainsbury's and just have that really funny like, low blood sugar feeling come over me. So I'm definitely going to cook quickly when I get home. Um, I'm going to do pasta and I'm going to do a homemade um, pesto which is pretty low sin. Um, the, it's a similar world recipe but it's um, it's got cheese in it so I don't actually have any cheese and I didn't buy any because I didn't want to um, so I'm going to use Nooch instead um, and I was right it's raining so that's delightful so probably gonna look a mess when I get home. Hey guys I'm back oh hey guys I'm back um I've just put in my tea on I need to eat like super fast <laughs> um and so I'm just doing my half a pack of those chicken tenders that I showed you in Sainsbury's. Um, that's one and a half sins. And I'm actually cooking them in one teaspoon of smoked rapeseed oil. So I don't want them to stick to my um, griddle pan. So yeah, um, that's three and a half sins. And then I've got some pasta boiling. I'm gonna add some sugar snap peas and some leek to that. And then um, I'm gonna just whiz some basil, water, garlic, nooch, I think that's it, and like salt and pepper just to make like a pesto sauce to go with right. it. Right, these are done. Now, I'm actually gonna only call it one sim for the oil, because as you can see, there's like, in fact, most of it is actually around the sides, um, so I think they've actually had minimal contact with that, so that's good. I've done both sides of those, so I've turned the heat off for a minute and just kept them on there to keep warm. This is basically done. I've just chucked the sugar snap peas on top because I just like them very crunchy and just about steamed. So I'll actually turn that on down as well. Um, and the pasta is done and the leeks are already in there. I'm just quickly making my pesto. So I've got a whole pack of basil that I just roughly chopped, one um, clove of garlic, and then, do excuse the mess, um, I've got <laughs> an onion, um, no, not an onion, a lemon. So I'm gonna squeeze the juice in and then um, a tablespoon of what should be pine nuts, but I'm doing a mixture of pine nuts and seeds because that's what I've got. Right, sorry about the mess. It has been an absolute disaster today. Basically, I've drained this. This is just pasta. You wouldn't believe there's a whole leek and like virtually a whole bag of um, sugar snap peas. And then I've chopped up my tenders. So I'm just chucking those on. And then I'm gonna add the pesto that I made, which uh, I didn't lit it properly, so it leaked everywhere, so disaster. But anyway, there's, um, I'll put the same values on the screen, but basically there's two tablespoons of nooch in there, plus the tablespoon of uh, nuts and seeds. Um, and so I need to work out the sins of all this, but because I've had very few, <coughs> excuse me, it doesn't matter. It's done, you guys. Look how nice this looks. Okay. It doesn't look the best. It's not the best thing I've ever created in terms of looks, but my God, the flavor. I will put the recipe in the description today because I'm quite proud of myself for this little concoction. Um, yeah. And then we'll just stand back, survey the carnage that is my kitchen. I'm upset by this because I never let it get like this. I hate it. But um, there is a reason it's so bad. And that's just because I haven't tidied up. So all I need to do is tidy up after I've eaten my dinner. Um, it didn't help that while I was cooking, I opened my cupboard, my big cupboard here. And you'll notice in the top, I keep a load of milks. So the front, the top two happens to be chocolate almond milk. And I opened the cupboard to get the pasta out and, or something else actually. 
and two of them fell straight down on the floor. One landed in my rucksack, which was happily underneath. The other one exploded. So I had to do uh, that in the middle of it all. And it's currently living in the sink because actually it's pretty full. So I'm gonna try and <laughs> salvage it. But my God, it exploded up the dishwasher, up the wall. So I was on my hands and knees scrubbing. So that wasn't ideal. Anyway, I am gonna go and eat this bowl of goodness. I'm really looking forward to it because I'm really hungry. It's half past eight now. Um, so it's definitely a suitably long time from lunch. Um, and I'm gonna watch some TV. Well, it's 10 p.m. and everything is finally done. Um, I've got my kitchen cleared up, which I'm so happy about. And the living room is all ready for me to go and snuggle up and watch some TV for an hour before I go to bed. Um, to show you my kitchen. You yeah. saw it earlier, total mess, and now it's nice and completely clear again. I need to just do something with this burst thing of <laughs> chocolate milk, but uh, yeah, that's all um, all nicely done. And like I said, the living room is all ready for me to go and snuggle up. I've got my journal there ready to um, summarize my day and work out all those sins because I uh, lost track a little bit. Um, so I just need to double check what my tea was and then I can see if I can have a little sweet treat or not. Um, and there's my narwhal blanket, which I'm in love with. Um, I also need to just say that the coffee I had earlier in the garden center was, um, it was made with soy milk for professionals, um, but I'm counting that as my other healthy extra aid today um, because I'm not having another one. So yeah. I quite often do that if I go out. Um, I mean, it was only about 250 mils, if that. So it wasn't even a full healthy extra A. Um, but yeah, I'm assuming they use the professional um, soy milk, which I don't think counts, but I'm counting it. So yeah, um, I don't think things like that will, you know, it's not something that you do every day. I don't think it will make that much of a difference to weight loss, but of course that is not the official soy milk line. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go make my cup of tea. So I've written up my diary for today. Now, um, I just wanna say that for the tablespoon of the pine nut and seed mix, I've put four sins because it's three sins for a tablespoon just of seeds, um, but pine nuts is slightly more, but there's only a few in there, so I just added an extra sin just to cover that. Um, like I said, um, with my dinner, the oil, I just put, um, one sin instead of two because um, there was a lot of oil left in the pan from the one teaspoon that I put so Yeah, um, obviously two tablespoons of nooch is two. Um, I used half the pack of those Vivera tenders, which is three um, Sins for the whole pack. So that's one and a half sins um, I said earlier that I was counting the soy milk when I was out as my other healthy extra A So that's that one um, and that's everything, so, um, oh, and I had two pieces of fudge. So I found this in Sainsbury's, which is mince pie fudge, and um, it's vegan, as you can see at the top here. I found it in the free from bit, and uh, it's actually really tasty. Now, this 30 gram serving thing, I don't know where that's come from, because it's a 100 gram pack, and I'll just show you how I calculated this because it's not in the app, I had to use the estimator again. But there are six pieces left, and which you can just about see. Um, and I had two pieces. There were eight in total from 100 grams, so that's 12 and a half grams per piece. So I just um, worked it out based on a 12 and a half gram portion. So each piece is two and a half Sins. so that's that one so yeah this is really nice actually so I do recommend that um yeah just a nice little sweet thing to have um 
And that's that. And then, oh no! <laughs> Fail! <laughs> Moving on, let's pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> um, yeah, this is um, one of my um, books from Fabulous Planning. Give myself a little on plan sticker, because I've been on plan. I'm finishing on 14 sins today, which is nice. And um, today I feel, feel pretty good. Um, so I'm going to go with an eight. Give myself a smiley face. Um, I haven't, I've got another bottle of water tab, so I'll fill that in after. And yeah, this is my day. So there we go. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you got some ideas for Swimming World. I will definitely be making that pesto again because it was really, really nice. It's garlic, basil, lemon juice, and the seeds and the nooch, and it was delish. So, oh, and a bit of water. I put water in there as well when I blended it. So yeah, um, I really hope you've enjoyed today and thank you so much for joining me on another What's Eating Today as Vegan and on Swimming World. Um, if you like the video, please do press the like button and if you want to see more, then do hit subscribe and if you want to be notified, hit the little bell icon. Um, that's all from me. I think the next video is a meal prep one, if I'm right, but you'll find out when you watch it, I guess. Okay, cheers, bye.